Hey guys, it's Sarah with AmericanMuscle.com, and today we have a review and install of the Modern Billet Lower Grill Overlay in black, fitting your 15 and newer Dodge Challengers, excluding the Demon, Wide Body, and Hellcat models. This overlay is perfect for those of you looking for a budget-friendly way to update the look of your Challenger's grill. This two-piece grill features a classic horizontal design that adds detail to your existing grill. It's constructed from durable billet aluminum with a gloss black finish. It's also available for models with or without the adaptive cruise control. So as far as price goes, this grill comes in at around $100, making it a budget-friendly way to update the look of your Challenger without having to replace your grill. I'm giving this install a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. The best way to get to the lower grill is to remove the whole bumper piece, and to do that, you will have to drill out your factory plastic rivets in your wheel well. All in all, it can be done within two hours. So with that said, let's check out the install. For this install, you will need a pair of needle nose pliers, flat and Phillips head screwdrivers, a pop clip removal tool, a ratchet with an extension, seven and 10 millimeter sockets, and a 5 30 seconds drill bit and drill. All right, so the first step to get your grill installed is to remove your front bumper. We're gonna start by removing these plastic pieces on top of your red support. Moving the hood release to the side, just sort of slide this plastic piece out and pull it off. Now you can repeat that with the other one. Now with a pop clip removal tool, remove all of the pop clips that hold on the top of your bumper. Moving on to the other side, continue to remove the rest of them. All right, so we moved underneath of the vehicle so that we can remove several splash guards and also remove some bolts out of the lip. We're gonna start with a pop clip removal tool and we're gonna remove some of the pop clips right at the front of the splash guard. Now we're moving on to the corner of the same splash guard. We're gonna remove two more pop clips. One on the bottom, and then a second one right on the side here in the wheel well area. Moving on to the other side, there is one pop clip in the wheel well area. Get this removed. Next up, we're gonna remove four 10 millimeter bolts that are holding on your splash guards. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and get them removed. and remove it off of your car. Now with a seven millimeter socket, we're gonna remove all of the bolts on the bottom of your lip. All right, so at this point, we're moving on to the wheel well. We do need to remove some plastic rivets. This may look a little intimidating, but with just a small drill bit, you drill out the center and they should come right out. With your bit, drill to the center of the rivet.
Now with a flat head, or you can use needle nose, go ahead and pry it out. Repeat that for the next two rivets. Now there's also going to be a pop clip here. Get that removed. And there's also another one that should be right behind your wheel. It's not on our car. So now we're going to move on to the other side. Repeat that on the other side. Again, we're removing a pop clip right down here as well. And on your car, there may be another one right in here that ours is missing. Now we can see one of the bolts right on the inside of your fender and bumper. With a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, get this removed. Again, now we're back under the hood on the other side between the fender and the bumper, removing that 10 millimeter nut. All right, now there are two more bolts on each side that you need to remove from the wheel well area. With the rivets removed, you can peel back your wheel well liner and you'll see one 10 millimeter bolt that's right here on the bumper, but there's a second 10 millimeter nut that's all the way on the inside of the fender. You will not be able to see this, but you can remove it with a 10 millimeter socket and a long extension. Now we can do the same thing on the other side as well. Now we need to release the bumper from its clips on each side. All you do is grab the inside of it and pull back. Repeat that on the other side. With the bumper released, go ahead and grab it and remove it off the car. Make sure your fog light harness is released. Press down on the tab and remove the connector. Now we can install the grills. We're gonna slide the hardware through the openings. There are three screws per side. Make sure they're all installed. With your screws in place, we're gonna line it up on your factory grill. 
Now we're on the back side of our bumper. What you're gonna do is thread these nuts over the end of the studs. We're gonna get them close for now. We can always tighten them later on from the front and make sure it's adjusted properly. This last one will be a little bit hard to see because it's behind this trim piece. If you want, you can release the top clip to give you a bit more room, but it's the same method as the other two. You can spin it down a little bit and we'll tighten the rest of it from the front side. Now with a small Phillips head screwdriver, tighten down each of the bolts. Now you're gonna repeat all of those steps to install the other side. All right, so now we can get our bumper bolted back up, but before we do that, we're gonna plug in our fog light harness. Line up your connector and press it back in. Line up your bumper on either side. There are posts to line up with holes in the fenders. Now that the bumper is reinstalled, we can reinstall the hardware that holds it on to the fender. Thread your 10 millimeter nut over top of the stud and with your 10 millimeter socket, tighten it down. Reinstall the pop clips in the top of your bumper. Now you can reinstall the rad support cover.
Now we can reinstall the nut that goes up inside your fender. This is the one you might not be able to see. So go ahead and thread it back on and then we'll tighten it down. and reinstall the 10 millimeter bolt that goes through your bumper. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down. Now in place of these rivets that we had to drill out, you can reinstall rivets. However, if you don't have a rivet gun or you don't wanna spend the money on one, you can use just small pop clips instead. So that's what we're gonna use here. Line them up to the holes in the bumper and press them in. Repeat that on the other side. Now we can reinstall the splash guard underneath your lip. It goes between the lip and where it mounts to, so it may take a minute to line it up. Once you have it, slide it in place. Now you can replace all of the seven millimeter hardware in the bottom of your lip. Grab your seven millimeter socket and tighten it down. Now you can line up the second half of your splash guard, line up the open holes as well as the threaded clip nut. Thread your larger 10 millimeter hardware in and tighten it down. Repeat that with the rest of your hardware and tighten it down. You install the same 10 millimeter bolts at the back of the splash guard. With your 10 millimeter socket, tighten them down. Reinstall the pop clips. There's three at the front of your splash guard. Reinstall the pop clips at the edges as well. And again on the other side. And on your driver's side, there's also one right underneath it. Finally, replace the last one at the bottom of each wheel well.
All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of this lower grill overlay. And remember, for all things Challenger, keep it at AmericanMuscle.com.